Hello everybody, how's it going? So many of you have asked me to make a comparison video between Carlisle versus Leighton Exclusive, both from the house of Parfum Mr. Marley. Now, if you were to ask me right off the bat, which one I like better, Carlisle. If you had to ask me which one is sexier, hands down, Carlisle. Now, that's just my opinion and I feel the need to state that because whenever I make these versus videos, there's always some very emotional people in the comment section that get mad when I don't prefer their fragrance that they prefer. So please just, you know, pick yourself up from your knees and rock the fragrance that you love. That's what it's all about. Don't worry about, you know, one person's opinion. If it's something you enjoy, then continue to wear it. It's not the end of the world, all right? So let's get into the smells of these fragrances. With Leighton Exclusive, I still get that typical Leighton DNA that has that apple that's present and it kind of has almost an apple pie-ish sort of smell on my skin. So I smell some apple, some vanilla, and in the dry down of this fragrance, it does have some oud and there's also some civet present to kind of give it a more animalic sort of smell, a more complex sort of smell in comparison to the original Leighton. That one is a much more fun, vibrant, sweet, flirtatious fragrance, whereas this one's kind of like a grown-up version of it. You know what I mean? Now, I have made a comparison video between this and the original Leighton, so you can check that out if you want to, but with the exclusive, it does have a bit of a darker turn in the dry down that is appealing to people that really love niche fragrances. You know, and I've said this in so many videos before, if you think the original Leighton is just too designerish for you, then I would just say go for Leighton exclusive because I think it's gonna satisfy um, your craving for wanting something that isn't too simplistic, all right? So on my skin though, with Leighton exclusive, it kind of has, not even just with my skin, even when I apply it on clothes, it has a little bit of like this powdery sort of smell that comes through. I'm not sure if there's tonka bean in this fragrance or not. It kind of smells similar to that. And for that reason, I'm just not the biggest fan of this scent. Now, I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's not something that's really appealing to me. It's not something that when I've worn it these past few times that I want to keep smelling over and over again. It's not a fragrance that has hypnotized me. But I will say in terms of performance, this is a pretty solid one. You will definitely get over eight hours on skin and it'll last even longer on clothes. Like this will be a 10 plus hour, even you know what, a 12 plus hour fragrance when you spray it on clothes because when I had some of this on my sweater, I still smelled it on my sweater the next day, you know, so it's still lingering on it. It doesn't want to disappear. And that's just very common with a lot of Parfums de Marly fragrances. But yeah, it's it's a smell that you won't be able to get rid of. But at the same time, it's not trying to dominate the room. So you have something here that has about half an arm's length to about an arm's length of projection within those first couple of hours. It's nothing that's really going to stretch that's gonna you know, fill the room, that's gonna linger a lot, but it's a good moderate sort of projection. And I like that about this fragrance. You know, it's people that are closer to you are gonna smell it. And I think that that's tasteful, especially for the type of scent that it is. Now, the type of people I see rocking late and exclusive are people in their 30s. Yeah, you can still pull it off in your late 20s, but it just seems like a fragrance for somebody that is entering their prime or is in their prime and older. You know what I'm saying? Like there's just something about this fragrance that doesn't really scream that youthful to me. I've had people that are 18, 19, 20 asking my opinion on whether or not they should just get late and exclusive because they've been interested in it. Of course, if they want to go for it, but this isn't a scent that I smell and I'm like, oh yeah, that reminds me of a college student. You know what I mean? It reminds me of somebody that's lived a bit more experiences. You know what I'm saying? So late and exclusive, solid performance. Um, but the smell of it, not my particular favorite in terms of compliments. If you're somebody that cares about that, this is something that hasn't gotten a compliment 
from anybody that I've really worn it around. When I've asked them to smell it, with the women, they didn't really care for it. With the guys, they're like, oh yeah, like that's kind of nice. But it still wasn't something that they're like, oh damn, like I want to wear that. You know what I mean? So with the exclusive, this is marketed as a masculine fragrance. Um, and I do think it's a little bit more masculine than the original Layton. That one to me is just straight up unisex. But ladies, if you want a more challenging fragrance, then you can give this one a shot if you want to. Now on my skin, I don't get any of that civet. I don't get any of that animalic sort of smell. And a lot of people that have messaged me that are a bit like older guys get that animalic smell. So it could be like the skin chemistry thing that's huge. So you gotta take that into consideration when you're testing this fragrance. But overall, like I said, the people that would really enjoy this are fragrance connoisseurs, in my opinion. The ones that value things that are challenging. That's that's probably like the best way for me to say it. And this is definitely a fragrance that to me gets more love from men in the fragrance community. But it's not something that gets a bunch of love in comparison to other Parfums de Marley fragrances when you wear it out in public and you're looking for um, a mass appealing sort of scent. You know what I mean? So late and exclusive, still solid. Now, Carlisle is still my favorite fragrance from this house to wear. Like ever since I tried Carlisle, I have not really thrown on the original Layton until this one came in and I had to make that comparison video, right? But what does Carlisle smell like? It opens up with this almost medicinal green apple sort of smell. So it has that tartness, but at the same time, there's some nutmeg, there's some saffron to add a little bit of that spice. And in the dry down of this fragrance, there's a little bit of vanilla, but it also kind of goes in like, it kind of smells more like a Middle Eastern type of fragrance. You know, especially here in the West, this is not a fragrance that you smell when you're going out like to bars, to clubs, when you're meeting new people and just being around lots of people. You know what I mean? Same with Late and Exclusive, both in a way that they're niche fragrances and people don't really know niche fragrances, especially when they're not into scents. They only know or they don't even know the standard designer fragrances, you know what I mean? So this is definitely a rarity, but Carlisle has been a show-stopping fragrance for me. Whenever I have thrown this on and I'm going to any sort of night outing, I receive compliments on this fragrance. And to be honest, compliments aside, right? This is a scent that I myself cannot stop smelling when I'm driving in the car, I smell it just kind of wafting over like, well, in my scent bubble, of course, but then just wafting from like the sweater that I'm wearing. I'm like, man, this thing smells so good. You know, it's just that fragrance that I, it's hypnotic to me and I cannot get enough of this scent even till this day. Like I said, there has not been a Parfums de Marley fragrance that had this sort of hold on me. Now with the more feminine scents, you know, I love Melior and Delina, so that's a different story, but this is my favorite one to personally wear. Now, Carlisle is a unisex fragrance. Anybody can wear it, but the type of personality I see pulling off Carlisle really well are the people that kind of have this mysterious, alluring type of vibe to them. You know, they're not talk, they're not like super, super chatty, but like I've said in a previous video, it's an I don't chase, I attract sort of scent. You know what I mean? It's a quiet, confident fragrance that doesn't do a lot of talking, but when you catch this in the air, it's just something that's so addictive. Now, I have worn this around people that know nothing about fragrances that I know, and that I've also worn it in public, and this just gets so much love from women, it's crazy. Like, I've had somebody that was just kind of walking by me, we were kind of in the same area during like this party, and then she just kind of, did that to me, like right here, I kind of saw it in my vision right there. And she's like, you smell really, really good. And then she kind of just walked away after that. You know what I mean? So it was very interesting. Even during my family gathering, I remember wearing this fragrance and they're like, damn, you smell really nice. So with strangers, with people that I know, Carlisle has always pulled through to me. Even like with my girlfriend, especially, 
This is a fragrance that she said that I should wear in the summertime because she can't get enough of it. Now, would I do that? Hell no. Even during summer nights, I tried applying it because she missed smelling it on me, but it still kind of made me a bit nauseated because it was still too warm during summer nights. So this is something that's strictly a fall winter fragrance for me personally, because I live where it's generally warmer, but I myself cannot get enough of this fragrance. It like, especially if you're rocking all black, this ties everything together so, so nicely. Now you can wear this club and you can wear it to bars. You can also wear it to the more upscale type of events like galas, weddings, black tie events, things like that. Both these fragrances will actually suit in those environments. I don't find them both to be youthful. I think that the age range is pretty similar with these. Like I said, with Leighton exclusive being a late 20s, 30s and up type of fragrance, same deal for Carlisle as well. Now, in terms of performance, I easily get over 12 hours with this fragrance and that's with one spray only. Like this thing just lasts and lasts and lasts on my skin. I cannot get it off. And I'm glad that it has the performance that it does because I never have to worry about it just randomly falling off if I'm out and about, like at midnight, you know what I mean? And I'm not worried of, oh my God, I don't, I don't smell my fragrance anymore. It's definitely there. Even if I'm nose blind to it, I know people can still smell it because they tell me that they can smell it, all right? So like I said, me personally, love 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 carlisle um with latent exclusive it's not my favorite but i could see how people enjoy this fragrance you know so anyways you let me know in the comment section which one you like and i'll put a discount site link in the description box with global shipping so that you can get either of these fragrances if you want to test them out if you want to get a bottle for a discounted rate all of that information will be in the description box. But thank you so much for watching this video and let me know in the comments what other comparison videos you wanna see and I'll make it happen, all right? Have a good one, see you later, bye.